What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because the other day I brought you guys a brand new hero deck showcasing the brand new elemental hero flame wingman infernal rage and in today's video I want to show you guys combos that you need to know to be playing this card to its fullest potential. That means I'm going to be showing you guys combos going first as well as an OTK combo going second to show you guys how you can use this flame wingman and just win every single time. Now if you guys enjoy these kind of videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel we do deck profiles combo videos dual replays all that good stuff we also upload a short every single day monday to friday which means you guys are going to get at least five videos a week but you guys can get up to 10 videos a week so make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned into all of that now that's really all i gotta say i don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long so with that let's get right into some hero combos so the first combo over here is going to revolve around opening Stratos and Theris, so it is a two card combo. But the best thing about this two card combo is there's so many different combinations that essentially end you on the same board. And what I mean by that is you can open Theris plus a hero lives because a hero lives is going to be able to get Stratos out of your deck and it's the exact same combo. You can open Stratos plus Malicious and this way you can have the same exact combo because instead of searching the Malicious, you'll search the Theris. You can even open Malicious plus a hero lives because it's the same thing as opening Stratos and malicious all right so there's so many different ways you guys can do this two card combo which is absolutely insane let's just do it with ferris and your stratos over here and then let's get right into it so first thing you're going to do is normal summon your stratos and you're going to activate the stratos effect to now search your malicious from your deck to your hand so again you guys can see if you open malicious you search your ferris doesn't make much of a difference it's the exact same combo then you're going to activate your ferris effect pitching the malicious to the graveyard to summon your ferris now once ferris is summoned it's going to get to activate its effect so that you can place an increase in your spell and trap card zone then you're going to activate the increase to special summon itself by sending your ferris to the graveyard and then summoning a vion from your deck onto your side of the field vion will then trigger because it was summoned so that you can now send a denier from your deck to your graveyard then what you're going to do is activate vion's second effect so you're banishing the ferris from your graveyard here so you can search a polymerization now if you guys have ever played hero before this is more or less standard hero combo stuff but then it's going to change up because of the addition of the brand new flame wingman card so here what you're going to do is you're going to be able to search polymerization add that to your hand we are going to use that later so let's have this in our hand and again you still have three other blank cards in your hand because again it is a two card combo right so let's just say the three other blank cards are here your three infinite impermanence so you guys can kind of see what um, your end board is actually going to be okay so this is your hand right now this is your graveyard this is your banish zone what you're going to do is you're going to use the increase in the vion to link them the way to summon your extra hero infernal divisor over here and now when infernal divisor is summoned you can activate its effect where you can now reveal your shining neos wingman and then we're going to get to add one of the fusion materials on it and the fusion material that you're going to add of course is your elemental hero neos now this is where it gets crazy typically in these flame wingman deck profiles you had to play avion and burstinatrix to get it off you no longer have to do that because neos does it all for you now what you're going to do is you're going to activate your polymerization i know weird you're going to activate it before having wonder driver it's perfectly fine activate polymerization use your neos and your stratos to send them to the graveyard so that you can then summon elemental hero flame wingman infernal rage the brand new card this card is absolutely insane it does so much for the deck and it's so important for these combos so you're gonna be able to summon your infernal rage here this is gonna go to the graveyard we're gonna activate the infernal rage here now when it is special summoned you get to add a favorite card from your deck to your hand here you're gonna add favorite contact because this is going to be one of the most important cards in this combo. Then what you're going to do is activate Infernal Rage's second effect to tribute itself so that you can summon a level 7 or lower elemental hero monster from your extra deck. And the one you're going to want to summon here is your Sunrise, all right? So Sunrise is going to activate. And then what you're going to be able to do is with Sunrise effect, search your miracle fusion all right so this is going to come up later but miracle fusion here is really really important so i don't know if you guys haven't noticed yet but we still have yet to use malicious we have still have yet to use denier so what you're going to do is we are actually going to use the malicious effect from our graveyard to banish it so that we can summon another malicious from our deck straight to our side of the field so here we're going to summon a malicious and then what you're going to do is you're going to use the malicious and the infernal device right here on your side of the field so you can now make your wonder driver all right because now we have miracle fusion in our hand we're going to want to recycle our fusion cards all right and the best way to do that of course is with wonder driver so what you're going to do is you're actually going to activate your denier now to special summon it to the wonder driver zone and then you're going to be able to activate your wonder driver to add back your polymerization you're also going to be able to activate your denier 
to put back your militias. So you're going to put back the militias from the banish zone, and then you're going to be able to add the polymerization back from your graveyard to your hand. And by that, I mean, you're going to be able to set the polymerization because it doesn't add it to your hand. It sets the card. But regardless, you're going to activate it right away here because what you're going to be doing is using the denier as well as the sunrise on your side of the field to summon a destiny hero destroyer phoenix enforcer which is really important to this combo because this is how you're going to get your dark law out right and this is part of your end board as well so now what you're going to do is you're going to use the mali again in your graveyard because you just put one back into your deck you're going to use this mali banish it so that you can summon the one you put back into your deck onto the side of the field and then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to use your two cards over here your malicious as well as your wonder driver link them away so that you can summon your extra hero cross crusader so you guys are seeing the combos are like going pretty hard here right now what you're going to do is you're going to use the cross crusader effect it doesn't matter if you summon mali or denier it's not really important we're going to summon the denier over here and then what we're going to be able to do is use the cross crusader pop the denier so that we can search a hero from our deck to our hand and the one we're going to want to search of course in this case is now going to be your dark angel all right so you guys can see we have now six cards in our hand by the way okay so three cards we've searched three cards that we're going to be starting off with of course and then what you're going to do is you're going to activate your miracle fusion all right so you're going to activate your miracle fusion so that you can use the neos as well as the flaming man so that you can summon your wake up the elemental hero so now we are we're going to be able to summon our wake up and these two cards are now banished all right wake up your elemental hero has a really cool effect where if it's destroyed you can summon a hero from your deck to your side of the field i think it actually can summon any warrior but in this case of course we're going to be summoning a hero so what we're going to do is we're going to activate dpe pop itself pop your wake up the elemental hero triggering the wake up your elemental hero also triggering the dpe of course but wake up your elemental hero is going to be able to special summon a stratos to your side of the field now stratos when it's special summoned gets to add a master change so now we get to add a mass change to our hand which is really really powerful here and guess what because you have the dpe now in your graveyard you have been able to set up your dark angel because you have one destiny hero two destiny hero three destiny hero in your graveyard so now because you have three destiny heroes in your graveyard you can activate your dark angel pitch it and then summon this to your opponent's side of the field so now your opponent has a monster on their side of the field that is going to stop them from activating any spell cards which is absolutely insane then what you're going to do is you're going to just set these two cards and pass your turn so you're going to be ending on this board which doesn't seem too crazy all right but what you have now is three cards still in hand that could potentially be hand traps you have a mask change as well as a favorite contact so let's play this out your opponent's turn comes along, all right? Standby phase, DPE is going to get to summon itself back onto your side of the field. All right, so that's one disruption right there. Just the DPE is one disruption, all right? And now you might be wondering, okay, so, Spanko, now my opponent can just go into battle phase and crash over the Cross Crusader. So let's say my opponent wants to do that. You know, they need to activate their spell cards. They go make this into attack position, and they want to go battle phase to crash into the Cross Crusader. Well, what you can now do is activate your mass change, make this Cross Crusader into a Dark Law. So now because all your monsters are in defense position, your opponent can't actually attack and crash the Dark Angel into any of these monsters, all right? So that's the best part about this board. But then let's just say your opponent for any means doesn't need to attack it, right? Let's say your opponent can use this to link summon. Let's say they can summon their own monsters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Whatever it is, you now have access to favorite contact. So what favorite contact is going to let you do is going to let you shuffle back that Neos and Flame Wingman that you guys used earlier in the combo, put them back into your deck so that you can summon your Shining Neos Wingman. Now, Shining Neos Wingman has an insane effect. Shining Neos Wingman pretty much says that you can pop cards on the field up to the number of different attributes now in this case at a bare minimum assuming your opponent hasn't played any monsters whatever it is you have at least two because you have a dark and you have a light so you have at least two pops your opponent summons anything with a different attribute you have multiple pops as well as you can pop any card on the field not just monsters so that is what your end board looks like you still have three cards in your hand and the best part about all of this is once you've pretty much been able to clear your opponent's board with neo swingman or you've been able to just you know control the board like this your opponent can't attack over etc etc if they're just having to pass or whatever it is essentially even if you're saving this right you can activate this on your end phase doesn't really matter this on its own is just more than enough for game all right so with this exact same two card combo you can actually also otk your opponent so i want to show you guys this otk combo now the other three cards in your hand of course could be anything and of course because you're going second in this scenario you're going to actually have four more cards in your hand so let's say those four cards are used to stop your opponent from either making a board or there's some cards that can help you break boards regardless of what it is 
let's assume those other four cards are a way to stop your opponent from interacting with you right or it's a card like ttt that could steal an opponent's monster etc etc let's just say your opponent is now stuck on a very minimal board or a board where you can essentially just go off to your heart's desire all right so let's see how we can otk our opponent it's very similar in the combo where you can obviously start with any two cards like it could be stratos ferris stratos mali hero lives mali hero lives ferris all of these things are the exact same but let's start it off it's going to be very similar to how the original Original combo was the first combo that i showed you pitch valley summon ferris ferris effect over here that you can put the increase increase effect pop the ferris so you can summon a vion vion effect is going to be able to dump to the graveyard vion second effect you're going to be able to banish the ferris over here to search a polymerization right this is very very standard in terms of like how all of the hero combos kind of start off so now you have poly in your hand you're going to link these two away now so that you can do essentially the same thing as you guys did in that last combo where it differs is actually once you get to the cross crusader point and i'll show you guys how that works so this is going to now trigger you're going to reveal your neo swingman neo swingman is going to now get you your neo or infernal devicer gets you your neos because of you revealed the neo swingman and then what you're going to do here is you're going to do a very similar thing that you guys did last time use poly use the neos and the stratos so that you can summon your flame wingman over here so you're going to summon flame wingman and then flame wingman is going to get the trigger to search a favorite card now in this case you're going second so the favorite card doesn't matter as much it's only really good because let's say you don't end up otking your opponent you break their board whatever it is but you can't actually go for game favorite contact is obviously still really powerful technically you guys can side in another card called favorite hero i wanted to try siding in favorite hero plus skyscraper because that becomes really powerful with this going second but let's just say you don't side in let's say this is game one whatever it is you don't have those cards so you just search the favorite contact or follow up if you need it you activate its effect here so you can summon a sunrise all right so we're going to summon our sunrise and then we're going to be able to get the sunrise effect to search your miracle fusion all right so this is very standard right this is pretty much the exact same thing that i showed you guys in the last combo and it's pretty much just going to continue on being the same here you're going to activate the mali here so that you can summon a mali from your deck so we're going to summon a mali then what we're going to be able to do is link these two off into your wonder driver now again keep in mind this is all assuming you have cards in your hand that can kind of break your opponent's board and in the deck you're running cards that can stop your opponent from making a board like imperm ash ttt helps you break boards imperm also helps you break boards so all of these things help you break boards which is honestly like the best part about it then what you're going to do is you're going to use denier effect here so you're going to go one two and then you're going to be able to add back poly put malicious back into your deck over here which is really really powerful of course then you guys are going to be able to use these two over here you're not actually going to go for dpe right away and the reason for that is because you want to actually keep your sunrise on board for this combo because sunrise is really important to help you otk because when you attack with another hero monster this is going to let you pop another card on your opponent's side of the field as well as give all your hero monsters a boost which is really really powerful right so now we're going to go across crusader over here summon back the denier it doesn't matter if it's denier or mali regardless you're going to pop it and you're going to get to search a card from your your deck to your hand now here you could do one of multiple things you can search a liquid soldier you could potentially search an honest neos to help you otk you could still search for a dark angel if you want but let's just go for liquid soldier all right let me show you guys why i really like liquid soldier all right so we're gonna over here just you know quickly 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 shuffle up or I guess technically before we shuffle up, we're going to actually activate the Mali here in the graveyard so that we can summon another Mali from our deck. All right, so now we have Mali on our side of the field, right? So let's shuffle it up real quick here so I can show you guys this is where the combo gets kind of interesting, right? So now what you're going to do, typically what you would have done is made a DPE. But what you're going to actually do instead is use Poly, use the Malicious as well as a Liquid Soldier in your hand so that you can now make your absolute zero all right so you're gonna make absolute zero here liquid soldier is then gonna get to trigger and liquid soldier has a really cool effect if it's used for a fusion monster for a hero fusion you can actually draw two cards and then discard one so again we shuffled our deck or here let's just shuffle again pretty safe all right let's shuffle our deck all right we're gonna get to draw two and discard one now it doesn't really matter what the two we draw here okay that's insane to be honest with you that's just nasty the fact that we do fusion destiny and honest neos this is just honestly crazy. In this case, I guess uh, you could put fact favorite contact to the graveyard. Let's just throw this away. You know what? We're going to pretend we didn't even draw that. Let's just pretend the cards we drew weren't really important, even though this is actually just kind of insane here. But let's just pretend you didn't draw this. All right, cool. You can still play here, right? Because what you can now do, and this is where it gets kind of nasty, I won't lie. You can activate your Miracle Fusion here, right? And again, we're going for OTK. We want to go for game. Miracle Fusion can use cards in your graveyard, and it can use cards on your field. Why is that really important? 
Ab Zero has an effect where if this card leaves the field, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls. So what you can actually do with the Miracle Fusion and the Ab Zero here is the card you really want to be able to summon is your Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. Wake Up Your Elemental Hero is a crazy OTK machine card. This card essentially gains 300 attack for each card used for its fusion summon. And then on top of that, it can make a number of attacks based off of how many fusion monsters were used to make it. Now, in this case, let's say we use our Ab Zero on our field. We're also using our Flame Wing Man in our graveyard. And in theory, you could use the rest of this. You could literally use the rest of your graveyard, make your wake up your elemental hero. This is crazy. Like you would never actually do this, but it's just if you want to flex on your opponent, you could do this, summon your wake up the elemental hero. Ab Zero is going to get to trigger, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. How much attack would it have? So here it would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 times 3 is 3,600. All right. So 3,600 attack it's gaining and it can attack twice. And when it attacks, you can pop a card with Sunrise. But again, you already popped your opponent's entire monster board because of Ab Zero. And you have Honest Neos. In this case, we drew the Honest Neos. Like, let's be honest, that's kind of nasty that we drew the Honest Neos. But uh, if we didn't draw the Honest Neos, it doesn't matter what you draw here, right? Because you have like a crazy amount of attack, wake up your elemental hero, you have the Sunrise, and this is how you go for game. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope I really got to showcase and explain these combos really well. Now keep in mind, Hero is a deck that can combo in so many different ways. There are Fusion Destiny combos. There's so many different things that you can end on Plasma DPE, Plasma Dark Law. But I really wanted to show you guys the Inferno Rage, brand new Flame Wingman, all these combos and how this card really brings the deck together. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel, but we do a full 10 videos per week, five shorts, and sometimes up to five videos a week. So you guys could literally get up to 10 videos. So make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned to all of that. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.